Yeah, I just want to give a quick update on the uh, HHO system. This is, I got the battery charger on here too. Um, probably just shut it off a second because uh, don't really need it. But you can, uh, you can I, I just um, don't quite have it all hooked up. There's only one wire I got to run to the coil right there and one wire that's got to be run down to the starter. I just got it over to the battery. Uh, the relay's in there. Uh, the, the loom is on there. This, the, the wire loom is on there all the way across. Um, I'm going to feed the other wire in that loom to the coil. And one wire goes down to the starter. That's it. It's just like hooked up over here and there's a battery charger on it. That's what it looks like. It's a jumble of wires. But um, the other thing I want to do not sure if this gauge is working. It was a brand new gauge, but I have a couple other ones. It's an amp meter. I made a bracket for it with a plastic housing, and the bracket is going to go on the fender there. And this way, when I turn it on, I can check my amps because this can take a maximum of 30 amps. And maybe that's all it's pulling right now. Maybe this thing can really pump out a lot more. And I have to lower the water in my bubbler because you can see water coming out over there. I just got the air cleaner disconnected. But it's basically all hooked up except for two wires and a, and this was optional putting that amp meter in there. I don't know if that thing works though, but I got two more gauges like that. And um, I could probably put it's actually lie I put in there. I think it's KOH or something like that. <laughs> I remember that was the right stuff from before. Uh, this could probably put out a lot more than that. And um, you can see I got the little switch down in there. That's a little switch. It's mounted up there nice and solid. I made a little bracket housing for it and stuff like that. It's in there nice. So it only works if you have this hooked up to the coil over there. It'll only work when you turn the key on. Now this might be pretty cool if uh, you need a little bit of starting fluid. Just turn your key on, turn your HHO on, and uh, you'll have a little bit of hot store in there. <laughs> so anyway, I gotta double check this gauge though. I, I, I think they did work because I, I, I don't know if I checked this one. I know I checked a couple of them. They used to work. They're brand new in a box but I haven't used them. I never used them and uh, maybe something went wrong with them but uh, I have made the bracket for it. I can just pop it right to the fender there, the inner fender. It has a plastic housing around it that'll have it go around it and um, I just want to put some zip ties onto these hoses to hold them in place maybe put some loom around them too and uh, that's a part of it but that's it that's it it's all set up and uh, actually the next video I want to get a little more thorough but uh, just want to show you preliminary that it's uh, it's pumping out the stuff so you know I think it actually generates a hell of a lot more than that I probably have this set way too low and I need to put more um, electrolyte in it but you know like I said you know the wire looms on there um, everything's in there installed just about everything there's two more wires two more wires to go and uh, just about done just about done but it works looks like it's gonna work out pretty good looks like it's uh, looks like it's gonna be the deal and if that ga if that gauge is correct and if it's put see in old days that was a pretty good output <laughs> When they're first doing these back in 2008 in the mason jars, that was this this dry cell is probably going to make those mason jar units look like nothing. Um, maybe that's all that is. Maybe it isn't even taking no amps yet. Maybe that thing's going to really be pumping out. So um, I think it does two liters a minute or something like that. It's probably a lot faster than that. So. I need to put more electrolyte in it, but i um, got to do some more fine tuning, two more wires to hook up, but i uh, been working on it. I was trying to get it in there nice and careful and nice and neat so there's no freaking problems. I said wire loom, good mounting area, no wire splices, I used all the original wires. Uh, taking my time with this damn thing. The mounting brackets are in there nice and solid, all 10 gauge steel um, or, or greater. and. Um, just about done just about done but it, it works it works